Let's get you out to America's Radio Newsline. Standing by, Jeff Marino. He has uh, been a part of the uh, the uh, fire service for over 32 years. There were 28 uh, of those years involving investigative work. Currently a, a career deputy chief with the Lake Dillon Fire District in Colorado. Mr. Marino, welcome to America's Radio News. It's great to be here. Thank you. Sir, pulling up the Fed's website on uh, the current uh, fire map, and it looks like the West is completely ablaze right now, including... Idaho getting the lion's share, I guess, per capita. I, I guess you say that state is really getting hit pretty hard. Uh, how are resources out there in the West as far as your, as far as your knowledge is concerned? The resources are being managed by several uh, area command teams, and they juggle the resources like chess pieces around the country. But you're correct. Uh, Idaho, Nevada, and Washington State right now are getting the lion's share of the fire. In fact, there's uh, 52 uncontained large wildfires in the United States right now. This is, is this the worst year on record for wildfires? Um, right now, 6.4 million acres have been consumed in the United States year to date. That's over the size uh, bigger than the state of Vermont. Wow. Uh, so we are looking at a record year uh, with over 43,000 reported wildland fires so far. And what, what uh, role, and, and one would have to assume that there is some kind of correlation between the drought the, the country is experiencing and these wildfires. You're correct. Uh, they are following the natural path uh, through the United States with fires starting in early March, uh, progressing to the south through Texas. Colorado, as we all know, had an interesting June. They have <laughs> moved up to Montana and Dakota, and now yeah. we're heading to the northwest in California. So it is following uh, the drought and the heat. And, you know, we've heard about structures being lost, lots of homes in Washington state in particular. I think the last number I saw was about 70 homes. Just on a personal note, as a firefighter, how do how do they cope with watching people's lives just burn to the ground and trying to continue to do their jobs, obviously to save homes? But when they can't, how do, how do they cope with stuff like that? Uh, it's extremely difficult for firefighters and fire investigators uh, dealing with the human element. Uh, we do have to hang our hats on the homes that are saved. And it's easy to focus on the negative in the homes, but we are affecting many lives in a positive sense. The, the sad part is eight out of ten of these wildfires are human-caused. Yeah. Mm. Hey, Jeff Marino, he is, uh, is our guest right now. He has uh, been with the fire service for over 32 years. He is a, a uh, an investigator of wildfires. And, and, you know, sometimes the political concerns do find their way into these into these fire concerns, uh, Jeff, because the, the need for fire breaks seems every single time we have a record season like this. And I'm, I'm a native of Southern California. We, we have a lot of experience with this time, uh, this sure time do. of the year with the Santa Ana winds and all of that. Uh, there, there always seems to be this this uh, you guys, the firefighters on one side and the environmentalist lobby on the other side. You guys want to go out into to nature and make these natural fire breaks, cut back the wood, cut back the timber so that when these fires do break out, there's not a greater loss of life and property. And you guys seem to be up against a wall from the environmental lobby that doesn't want any of that done. I think the key is uh, you bring up a great point is to find a balance. And, and that is the important part. But several things happen to old growth forests. They either burn or the bugs get them, mm -hmm. and in some cases twi uh, both. Uh, so the key is to find a balance. And clear cuts uh, can be effective, but also thinning can be, and that does leave quite a bit of vegetation. So, uh, again, I think there is a happy median. So you said a, a lot of these fires are actually human-caused. Now, are, are, you, are you saying that many of the fires that we're dealing with right now are, are arson or just accidental or a combination, or, or is it also the drought as well? Fantastic point. Uh, human cause covers a variety of factors from uh, mechanical failure to campfires to cigarettes to improper disposal as well as arson. So it does cover a wide range, pretty much everything but lightning. Uh, so anytime we introduce humans and people into the woods or an in interface area, the likelihood of wildfires increases. But 8 out of 10 is a national average. And Jeff, really quickly, i got about 15 seconds here. How is the air attack posture here in the United States? I, I hear that that fleet is aging. The air fleet is aging uh, dramatically. They're, most of the planes are from the Vietnam and Korean War wow. era, 
and they are quite fatigued. Uh, they do undergo quite a bit of stress in those air operations. So I applaud the efforts of the Forest Service and our legislator to improve the air fleet. All right, they Jeff. They are a valuable tool. Absolutely. Jeff Barino, he has been with the Fire Service over 32 years, 28 of those years involving investigative work. Currently, career uh, his current career, Deputy Chief with the Lake Dillon Fire District in Colorado. Sir, appreciate your time on America's Radio News. Thanks. Have a super day. Uh, you too, sir. Thank you very much for the information. Right now. I-